Um, hello, so today we are going to do problems from bi-weekly contest um, uh, 123, uh, this week's bi-weekly. Um, so let's start with, uh, we are going to do first this, uh, the second problem here. So find the number of ways to place people. There is a lot of text here, um, but I will just simplify it uh, to what we are asked to do. So you have sort of um, an x, y coordinates, right, like this here. And what you are asked to do is you can place n people, uh, but doesn't matter really the number of, we don't need to place all of them, um, but we get the points where we are going to place people, okay? And the goal is to place these two people, Shisato and Takina, in two positions with one constraint, which is that in the, when we place both in the fence of, of, of those two positions, there shouldn't be another point. So what do they mean by fence? So in the fence here, they mean both like let's say for example um this one let's take a look at an example here let's see this one so this would be the fence and let's say we have shasita here and we have takina here um then in the fence which means basically in the boundaries here there shouldn't be any other of these points but also inside there shouldn't be any other point like here or here there shouldn't be any other of these points okay so that's the first constraint the other constraint is that um, Shisata need to be, or Shisato needs to be in the upper left corner, and Takena needs to be in the lower right corner. Okay, so this is what they are saying here. Well, with Shisata's position in the upper left and Takena in the lower right, which means basically here, for example, Shisata would be in the upper left here, upper left, and then Takena would be in the um, bottom right. Okay bottom right or the lower right. So those two conditions are the conditions that we need to work with. The uh, the value of n is up to 50, so it's not too big. Um, but let's to take a look at some examples just to see what is valid and, and what is not. Now, one thing to consider is that there are two cases here. It, the, the fence that Shisato builds can be two things. It can be either like a rectangle or a square, like in this case here right or it can be a line so for example in this specific case this is correct this is the upper left and this is the lower right um, in this specific case it's just left and right but a line works same thing here a vertical line works where you have um, Shisita, Shisato in the upper left so in the this one top one and then Takina in the bottom right here um, you can't though it can be either um, horizontal or vertical, or a square like this, but you can't have something like this. This is not valid, okay? Uh, you can't have like a, a diagonal line like this, okay? So the, those are the rules. Now let's see a couple of observations, um, and we can go from there. So the some observations here so uh, the, the first one I just said which is the line of the fence has to be either vertical or horizontal if it's a line okay and so what do we need to do here what we are asked to do is we want to build a fence that has sh Shisato in the uh, upper left and then Takina in the lower right and with no third point in between so we need to find a way to check if the third point is on the fence or inside for the two other points. So let's say um, if we have Shisato here, Takena here, we, sh we need a way to check that another point x, y is, doesn't exist either here or here or, in, or here or in any other position that is in the fence of these, between these two, okay? Um, the constraint also are small, okay? So we can just do a check for all points um, and just check, not recurse, but we can do a loop basically on on all the valid um, fences that Shisito and Takina can be in, which means basically uh, Shisito needs to be in the upper left and Takina needs to be in the bottom right. And then from there, we can take all the other points. 
if they are not the same as these two and check if they are in between the fence if we don't find any that is in between the fence then that means this is a valid pair of points and we can count it okay now a couple of um, points here uh, that we need to also consider which is if we assume the upper left let's just assume the upper left which is the shisito position is this here the first one here and the takina is x2 y2 okay so that's what i'm assuming here then what is the condition where we can check just the first condition that um that it's a valid uh, it's at least valid which means basically chusito is in the upper left and takina is in the bottom right lower right well you can see it here if we just take um con like this is the y coordinates and this is the x coordinates you can see that x1 needs to be smaller than x2. So that's the first condition. The second condition is you can see here y1 needs to be bigger than y2. And so y1 needs to be bigger than y2. So these are the uh, only conditions that we need to, except there is one other condition, which is if it's the same line. So if it's the same line, let's say, for example, let's take another one example. So let's say... Shasito is here, Takina is here. Then the y, um, y1 and y2 are the same, right? But x1 and x2 are different. And same thing if we have it vertical. So Shasito is, Shisato is here, Takina is here. Then the x is the same. x1 and x2 are the same, but y1 and y2 are, this, are not the same. Then this needs to be equal, okay? And this needs to be equal. So let's just... Um, change that a little bit here um, so this needs to be equal and this needs to be um, equal as well here okay um, okay so now with this what else do we need so we know how to identify that it's a valid upper left and lower right one now how do we check that a third point is inside the fence or on like the boundaries of the fence for these two points x1 y1 and then x2 y2 well we have two conditions either it's a line or it's a rectangle or a square now if it's a line then what we are looking for is just if it's a line let's go back to our case here if it's a line like this then what we need to carry uh, to worry about let's say for this one that the x is been in between the x1 and the x2 so then the, it's in a fence if it's a vertical then if it's y is in between y1 and y2 okay now these are the conditions where it's in the fence so we can just say if it's not one of these then that means it's not in the fence okay so that's for a line what about for a rectangle well for a rectangle for it to be in a, in the fence, what do we need to uh, check here? So let's take an example and see. So this one, for example, this one and this one, x, y. So let's first just look at this one, x, this one here. So the x needs to be bigger than x1, okay? Because if it's smaller, it's going to end up somewhere here. So it's not going to be there in the fence. And it needs to be smaller than x2. So it needs to be between x1 and x2. So that's what I have here. And then the other condition is the y needs to be below y1, but above y2. Because if it's above y1, then it's going to be here, not in the fence. If it's below y2, it's going to be somewhere here, so not in the fence, right? And so this is the, the other condition. And so if you look, both conditions are actually the same. So we can just use this condition to check if a third point is in the fence or not. And that's all we need to do. Now we can just build on top of this and basically just do our um, our loop. Um, yeah, just three loops, pretty much. So let's write the code there. Um, let's implement that. So first, what we need is we need to get the just the number of points. I'll just make this be P so that it's easier to uh, to write. And now we can just return the number of valid points or valid pairs. And then we can now implement the logic. So first we need um, two things. We need to just go through all the possible two points that can be Shisato and Takina's position. So x1, y1. And then we'll enumerate for p. 
And then we'll do a similar thing for x2, y2. Okay. And now we need to check if first these two need to be different. Okay. Because if they are the same, we can't have um, a valid pair here. But the other thing we need to check is that it's a valid, um, what we said here, which is that it needs to be a valid upper and lower right, which we said is just going to be this condition here. So let's do that. So this basically, which is that x1 is smaller or equal, and then x y1 is bigger or equal to y2. Okay. And now we can just go through the all the possible third points. So to do that, we can just do k. Um, and k, we can do the same thing we did. So k is going to be x, y coordinates. Um, and what we want to do is check this x, y coordinate, check if it's in the fence, okay? And so how do we do that? We will just do the similar thing here. And we need to check first that it's not the same as i or j points. And so only if it's different than i and it's different than j, then we will check if it's in the fence or not. So how do we do that? Well, um, we already did that. So we said it's in the fence if this okay and so we can just say if so this means it's in the fence but how do we how do we sort of determine um, it's actually easier to do this if it's a function so let's just do a function for this so let's say let's define um, a function here let's say it checks that there is no points inside the perimeter okay but what do we need well we need definitely x1 and the coordinates for the upper left and the bottom lower right and so those two but we also need to i and j to check if k is the same as those two and so let's just pass those two as well and so now what we want to do if it's in the fence then that means what should we do here we should return false because we found a point that is in the fence and so th this is not true um, otherwise if we went through all the other points and we didn't find any in the fence, that means there is no points inside the in the fence, and so we can just return true here. And so now in this case, we can just check if no point inside, then this means it's a valid pair. So x1, y1, x2, y2. And now in this case, we can just increment our valid by one. Okay, because we find a pair, we found a pair that w that doesn't have any other points inside the fence and so now we can just run this looks like we have um let's see we have a problem here um now yeah sorry this should be equal because we said for a if you remember we said for a line it can be equal okay it can be x1 and x2 one of them can be equal um so that's what we do here. I think I made a, a slight. Yeah, I didn't change here as well, because if it's a line, then the x's can be the x can be the same or the y can be the same. OK, so we need to check that as well. Um, and we can run this. Looks good. We can submit and this gets accepted. OK, I oh, actually don't need this n. Um, and this, this is pretty much it. So pure brute force, you just need to draw it and see the relationship and come up with the observations that you need to come up with. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.